Good morning, my friends. It is 42 and sunny outside. It is a high of 69. Like, I think I heard on the radio yesterday, it's supposed to be in the 70s for the next, like, couple, two to three days, and then it's gonna be freezing again. Y'all, this is Texas. We have, like, the wildest seasons. Um, I think that I'm gonna get to take that hat that I had made at the very beginning over to uh, that lady at our favorite Italian restaurant today. So, yay, maybe I can get a picture video of her and she won't mind for my vlogmas and you can see, hopefully she enjoys it and it's everything that she wanted. Um, I think that's it for now. Actually, yesterday's Vlogmas was kind of long, so, um, and I've been having, like, basically 10-minute Vlogmases. <laughs> she was just staring off into space. I washed my hair yesterday, so it's a wacky hair day again. But I, what I'm finding is that that's when the best hair days come. Like, when it's like this, and then when I actually do it, it's, like, got so much volume. Oh, it's good. It's really good. So I will be doing my hair before I leave today. Yesterday, I did not. <laughs> um, I made a lot of progress on the sweater. I think today I can finish actually doing the loops. And I don't think my mother-in-law is watching this vlogmas, so maybe I can go ahead and share with y'all what I am doing. Um, yeah. That's my update. I still don't have any decorations on my tree and it is the eighth day of December. Also, two more days and my next Lion Brand kit airs, uh, releases. And so um, that's probably what I'll be doing on my drive today is working on that video. So this week you'll actually get a double time video on Thursday, the 10th. So in two days. <laughs> Okay, yay, 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 let's get this day started. Pups are getting a late dinner tonight. It is, ooh, I can't even see my watch here. 5.59, 5.59.
p.m. and we just got home. Smally, she eats like three, four meals a day. So, but the other pugs, they're massive. And so they get the amount that they're supposed to get and basically once a day. I've tried splitting it up for them before, but the best thing that works for them is getting it all in one lump sum. So this is how we do. And if I just leave freestyle food for them, they would eat every last drop of it. So they have to be rationed. Otherwise they'd eat themselves to oblivion. Sometimes food is that good though. <laughs> We all love each other. You love each other. You happy doggy. Are you happy doggy? Oh, 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 goodness. Oh, goodness. Don't get jealous, Tubby. I didn't spend that much of a car ride knitting like I should have. I mostly played on my phone. But I wanted to show y'all how much color work that I have made. So his beard is almost done. I think I have like maybe one or two more loopy rows. And then I am on to just having to do stock a net again, thank goodness. Um, look what I, I've got massive gaps in here though. So I'm just gonna have to mend those after. Look, I'm not a pro at knitting color work. So it is what it is. I don't think mom will notice. And it will be cute in the end after I do the finishing touches. I also still have the hat because she wasn't there. So we have intentions of going back Saturday and this time we'll try an evening hour because I think that's what she normally works is evenings. So I can get this hat to her. Um, yeah, I'm ready for the color work now to be done. So that's my next grief after this loopy stuff is just like managing the color work. On a table, it's not so bad. So here we go. Thank you. None for you, Tasty. Hello. I gotta say, like, this sweater is gonna be freaking cute. It really has all signs of the fact that it's gonna be cute. But. <sighs> I'm already thinking about like what my next project is. I'm already like ready to cast on something else. I'll probably be crocheting something. I like to flip flop between knitting and crochet, but um, I wanna make sure that I get this done by Christmas. And I think maybe now it's looking possible. At one point I was thinking, this is not gonna be possible. But I made so much progress on the loopy stitches and now I'm officially done with having to do any of those dang things anymore. I am wondering too, because like after I make the stitches, I've had to like pull them to make sure that they come out in full loop form and like the knot is knotted there. I'm like, is, is it gonna come undone in a wash? Should I seal it in the back? I, I really just don't know. Which the back texture, okay, let me grab my needle so I don't drop no stitches because that happens a lot. The back texture is pretty cool. Well, it doesn't look cool right there, but it feels pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. I think it'll be all right. 
I don't know. Also, I've been still cleaning my ring basically once a day and it is finally getting its life back. I don't think I realized how dirty it was and how dull it had gotten. And I tried the new mascara and eyeliner out. The eyeliner was really cool. I've never been able to do like a wing, but I tried that. I tried that today and it seemed like it went pretty well. The mascara is not not as good as the Rimmel, I don't think, but um, if I can't have a Rimmel, I do have some that has like the stuff that's supposed to help you grow your lashes. So I'll just have to start applying that in the evening times. And since I really haven't been wearing makeup all that much, um, I probably should be putting it on anyways. Tail, if you can hear him barking, he never shuts up. Now he's getting these pugs rolled up. Anyway, I'm thinking that uh, it's eight o'clock now. I really just want to be set for the night. So I might just take a shower now that I've gotten full of pizza and lay back and finish some Vlogmas because my husband's chilling in the shop watching football with his brother. So they're having their boy time. I might as well have my yarn time. <laughs> this hair, I can't get over it when I do it. And like after I wash it, it's so like the volume, you see what I mean? It's great, it really is great. And today another friend uh, chopped off a substantial amount and is donating her hair to the same charity, Children with Hair Loss, if I haven't said that already. Um, is who I donate my hair to. And so that makes me really happy. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll see how far I can get into the face of this Santa. Did I say that this was gonna be Santa? God, I hope my mother-in-law does not watch my Vlogmas. Surely she won't. <laughs> Cause otherwise the Secrets out. <laughs> Everybody else in the family already knows. I mean, she knows I make her something Santa. But the sweater, I mean, she it be, she better wear it and it better fit. I hope, I hope. She's lost like over 20 pounds. So I don't know. Maybe it'll be a very cozy fit. We'll see. And the sleeves are said to be knit flat, but... I'm not gonna do any color work in the sleeves. And so I think that I'm just going to do them in the round and I'm gonna seam up the front and the back panel and do them in the round. I don't know, I think it starts at the cuff and goes up. So I might just do, this, do it separately and then seam it all together at one time. Look, we'll see how it goes as I read the pattern. It's a very weird pattern, but it's free on Ravelry. So actually, I guess I could show you. Okay, so this is the pattern and it is a free Ravelry download. So I am making that. That's Santa right there. I'm sorry, my dog is drinking water but they do have them as kid and adult. You see that border part? Like that's what I'm talking about. I'm not doing that color work. It's just gonna be like the plain sweater with um, the Santa on it. And you can choose like the neckline you want, like whether you want like a turtleneck-ish or just a regular ribbed neck. And that's probably what I'm gonna do for her. I don't think she really likes turtlenecks. But um, yeah, it, it's okay. It's like a very, weird pattern, honestly, to read. Um, I wouldn't say like it's beginner friendly. It's definitely for somebody experienced. So, yeah. I got his little mouth done here. And his hat is starting. 
His beard is nice and luscious and done. And um, I think that I start, um, let's see, I think I start, I can't show you the pattern itself. You know, you can go download it for free off Ravelry. But yeah, I'm gonna continue on here with like the beard part. The nose gets added after, but then I'm gonna continue on the face up here and the hat. But I'm gonna have to do his eyes. And his eyes are literally like four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 stitches. And I got like a full skein just so all the yarn could match. I go, what? This is going back into my stash because you never can have too much black yarn. One of the things that I got yesterday at the store were beads. There are some nice little yellowy one golden ones there under there we got a little bit of greenish yellowy ones and very plain cute sandy ones and also large cocoa bean like coffee bean Whoppers, you know, it's an awesome collection, but I need my next project to require these beads. How cute are they for putting themselves to sleep? I don't know why the lighting went weird. The gate is open and everything. They just decided they want to go to bed. My cute babies. <laughs> I gotta make sure she eats so that she can get her insulin. But these guys, <laughs> they're like, please, please, can I have some? I don't know why the light is so bad in this video. Anyway, I'm just laughing so hard at that those faces. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're gonna get all the crumbs after, I'm sure. But this is actually a special diet type of food for tamale because she's diabetic. I have still not got in the shower, but I have decided to edit my next design, the super soft coat from my tablet. And whoa, I might just do it this way. Like just send all of my stuff from my phone to my tablet and like airdrop and then just edit for my tablet because storage is so much better on here. <laughs> yeah, I think I found a solution. Plus I can visually see it all better and yeah, I'm happy about it. Sorry.